My name is Sierra Roberts. I am 24 years old and I'm from Searcy, Arkansas. I am currently remodeling a school bus into my home. During the pandemic last summer when nobody was working, I was just on YouTube a lot, like just looking up different things. I saw so many people doing this and I thought it would be a great idea for me to do since I will be attending grad school. And so I bought a bus. They thought I was crazy, you know, cause no, nobody lives in a bus. They're like, oh, why didn't you do a camper? You know, that's what everybody says. Why didn't you get a camper? Cause it's already done. If you look at how they look whenever they've been in a wreck, they are just completely demolished. And school buses were built to house little children and take them from home to school. And so they're just a lot more indestructible, a lot more sturdy, and they're built of metal, you know? So it's just a, a lot better of a, of a deal. It was a little bit discouraging how they reacted when they reacted negatively, but also I do recognize that a lot of people just don't see the vision. You know, they just see a metal box and they, they just can't see it, but I can see it. And so a lot of them, I would just show other people who have done it in their finished projects and I would show them and say, you know, this is what this is gonna look like or something similar. And then they understood and they were a lot more positive about it afterwards. Yeah, so far with the bus I've accomplished, um, the subflooring being put down, which is, you know, you take all of the seats out. Thankfully that was already done when I bought the bus. I previously bought it from a girl in college as well and she had started it, but she decided she did not want to finish it. So I didn't have to do that part, which is a big project in itself. So the flooring was already down, and so far I, I'm currently living in it, and it's not finished. So, so far I have my bed, my bathroom is set up. I actually have kitchen countertops in there. I have a fridge. Um, currently I do not have plumbing um, or electricity, technically. I have a few power cords running from my grandparents' house to the bus because it's in the field behind their house. Um, but we are working on that this summer to get that finished because I would like to not, you know, walk up to their house to take a shower. But um, it's definitely a work in progress. But that's, that's about what I've gotten done. It doesn't sound like a lot, but if you see it, you know, it, it does look a lot more homey than you would think. So my plans for the bus are to get it uh, fully like self-sufficient. So I, in the future, I will be doing solar paneling, which is quite expensive. So right now I won't be doing that. I do have a generator that I will connect it to. Um, I'll be doing solar paneling and I also will have, like a camper normally does, it'll have its own like fresh water tank, gray water tank and everything. So I can be in the middle of nowhere and I won't have to do anything, you know, to be able to have power and water. Um, that is one of the plans. I also will have a, a ladder on the back of it to get to the top and it'll have a rooftop deck. Um, that'll come later in the future. Right now I'm just worried about getting it more livable on the inside. But those are my plans. It's going to be painted deep green and it's just going to, it's just going to look really good. My goal is to travel just all over the United States with it. Um, as soon as I finish it, I want to take a road trip to Utah. But the main goal for it is so that I don't have to find somewhere to live for grad school because I don't know where grad school is going to take me. I would have to get an apartment and I'd have to have a job during grad school and I really would prefer not to do that so I could focus on school. So this will allow me to not have to have a job to pay for an apartment. One very valuable life lesson that I have learned is when someone is trying to teach you like a little trade, like how to cut an angle on some wood to make it fit the curve of the ceiling, try to listen to what, they're, what they've been trying to teach you. Because for years I've had people trying to teach me little things like that and I never really paid attention because I always had someone to do it for me. But now I don't and I'm having to figure it out myself and it would have been a lot easier if I would have paid attention the last several years. Yeah, so, um, you know, I'm 24 years old and I was previously married and it was a bad relationship and I wasn't in school and I, we, we got divorced um, two years ago, two and a half years ago. 
and I was financially dependent on him and I told myself I never want to do that again. I want to build something for myself and be as independent as I possibly can. And part of this bus is a part of my journey with that. I would, the advice that I would give to anyone who's gone through what I've gone through or has just had a really difficult road through life is someone will always be there to help you through it. And if not a person, God truly will bring you the person to help you through it and to just not give up and he will always find a way for you. I've seen God through this entire process because I just kept hitting obstacle after obstacle of finding someone to help me because my, my family has a lot of disabilities and with the men that have been able to help me. So a lot of them have had to stop and um, I just got distraught over it, like how am I gonna finish? Because a lot of it I just can't do myself. But God has found a way every single time to find someone to help me. So that's that has been the biggest way I've seen God through this project. The date that I would set for finishing the bus would just be sometime before winter hits again this upcoming year because this winter was really difficult living in it when it wasn't finished. It was very cold. I managed, but um, it wasn't ideal. So I really hope and pray to finish before, before winter. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just, I can't wait. It has been a very long time coming. I've had it since last July and I'm just, I want to show it off, you know, and it's just not quite in the um, state of me being prideful of the way it looks, you know, to be proud to show it off because it kind of is a hunk of junk right now, but I still want to show it off. But I'm just, I'm timid to show it off because it doesn't quite look good yet. But I understand that people know that it's a work in progress though, so.